PA Rifle, Opening Day. At this point, it was about 7.20 in the morning. I had just seen one big buck off my right shoulder at about 150 yards, but could not get a shot. And then I saw these deer come within about 50 yards of me. I knew there was one buck in the group with a bunch of does and I was just trying to figure out which one was the buck. At this point I had positively identified the buck but could only see big Y's on its head. I had no clue whether or not I could shoot this deer. Here I click my tongue to get the deer to turn its head so I could have a better view of its brow tines. Now I could tell that he was legal. I knew that I had hit him, and I had confidence in my shot, but he did run for a long time. Stinking smoked one boy. After searching for about 20 minutes, I found this patch of white hair and thought that I may have made a bad shot. I decided to watch back the GoPro footage a couple times and see if I could get a better look on where the deer ran after I shot. Meanwhile, I heard two gunshots in the distance where my dad was sitting, and I thought it was him. And it turns out that it was. After about 20 or 25 minutes more of looking, I found the first drop of blood. Once I found first blood, the steer was very easy to track as it had a really consistent blood trail. Here are some pictures I took along the way of the blood that I was seeing. Eventually this buck ended up running the same path that I walk in on and I knew that I had to have hit it good for it to take the path of least resistance running away. As the blood got more and more, I knew that this deer could not be running very further, so I stalked it with my rifle in hand in case I had to make a follow up shot. In the meantime, I got this text message from my dad. Lo and behold, right on the walking trail, I found him bunched up. Although the deer did run far, this was my entrance wound. It looks like a good shot. This is the buck's rack. A nice little six point. It wasn't until I got home later that day that I got a picture of the deer with myself. This is a picture I took of my dad with his deer. After we recovered my dad's deer, we determined that we had actually got this deer on trail camera earlier in the year. Finally, after dragging both bucks out of the woods, we were able to get them home and take a timer picture together since it was just my dad and I. Since it was only 1.30 at this point and the day was young, we decided that after we dropped the deer off at the butcher that we were going to go fishing and try to catch a trout and complete the perfect outdoors day. On the far side? And on my first cast. Either. I'm just going to throw my one cast too down the side. All right. I pulled your end of the bargain, Brian. You dog you. Nice. Man, if, we ca if I catch one too, we're a hell out of here. Oh, hell yeah. As long as it's a trout. If you couldn't imagine, we were pretty tired at this point. That's why we commented on wanting to go home as fast as we could. I can't know it's a trout. Just my luck, it would have been a sucker. How many, how many shots do you have? Two. Yeah. It's a nice one. Two. 
A little thin, but still a nice sized trout. And only five minutes after that. You're good where you're at. Yeah, you're good. Enough for me, buddy. He ain't big. But... A little bit smaller, but a trout is a trout. A little bit more till I lose this worm, at least. I knew I had one more fish in me, so I kept fishing for about five more minutes. All right, I'm good. I had to one up the score. There you go. I couldn't leave on, on a tie. Uh, you video? Yeah. It's awesome. another nice one. Nice one yeah. Oh yeah, he's real nice. Nice power. Oh yeah, get him to the net. Oh, he came off. Did it? No. Right at the end. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm good. Although I did end up losing that last trout, that was a pretty nice one. I still had an unbelievable day with my dad, and I hope that you guys all have good luck this rifle season and muzzleloader if you hunt after Christmas. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing.